Oh, Warner Brothers and Player First Games has unveiled the cinematic trailer for the upcoming fighting game Multiverses. The trailer features a plethora of characters pulled from a variety of intellectual properties as they duke it out in a strange location. As Batman is pulled through a multiversal portal, he finds himself paired up with Scooby-Doo Shaggy, who unleashes his full rage against Bugs Bunny and Arya Stark from Game of Thrones. As the brawl spirals out of control, fans are treated to appearances from several other cartoon characters, including Jake from Adventure Time, Garnett from Steven Universe, and Superman. The trailer also confirms two new playable multiverses fighters, the Tasmanian Devil and the Iron Giant, adorned with his own Superman crest. Multiverses launches in 2022 for the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S, the Xbox One, and the PC. I'm sure we're going to get it on the Nintendo Switch one day, too. The game will be free to play and will expand through various seasonal updates. It's been over a year since Mediatonic confirmed Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout was coming to the Xbox and Nintendo Switch. After some delays, the wait is almost over. The ridiculously fun Battle Royale platformer is coming to those platforms as well as Epic's own game store on June 21st. A dedicated PlayStation 5 version is on the way as well. Full crossplay and cross-progression will be available across all platforms too. What's more, Fall Guys is going free to play. Epic pulled a similar move with Rocket League after snatching up Psionics. Existing players on PlayStation and Steam will receive a Legacy Pack, which includes three costumes and some other bonuses. Newcomers who pre-register can claim some swag as well. It's not a huge shock that Fall Guys is coming to the Epic Game Store. Epic bought Media Tonic parent Tonic Games Group last year. Users have needed an Epic account to play Fall Guys since November. That's when cross-progression was added. However, the game will no longer be available to new players on Steam. Those who bought it on the platform will still get new content and updates, though. A new season will get underway on June 21st. Mediatonic is resetting the counter and calling it Season 1 Free For All. It will be the first seasonal update since November, and as ever, there will be new levels and more cosmetics. For the first time, there will be a premium, i.e. paid, season pass with 100 tiers and extra cosmetic items. The game day Debuted on PS4 and Steam in August of 2020 and was an instant hit, racking up millions of players on PC in just a few days and becoming the most claimed game in the history of PlayStation Plus at the time. It seems player numbers have dropped quite a way since the early days. Having increasingly lengthy seasons likely hasn't helped. However, the arrival of Fall Guys on more platforms, the free-to-play shift, and a new season should all bring new and lapsed players into the fold. A new experimental quest game lets its maker jump on a real bike and race it on an actual sprint track. But no you shouldn't try it yourself. Content creator Valum is behind the project, which saw him remove the Quest's Guardian limitations and head outside to a racetrack. Quest headsets aren't meant to be used outside, and the camera-based tracking can be spotty in highlight conditions, not to mention you risk damaging those cameras in direct sunlight. It goes without saying that you shouldn't try this yourself, given that it's dangerous to both you and your headset. Valum took the racetrack and imported a map of it into Unity, allowing him to build virtual environments around the course. He then attached a Quest controller to the front of the bike, allowing him to track it in VR with a virtual model. As a final touch, obstacles were added around the course, in VR not in real life to avoid. Some of them were even moving, giving his game an assault course style. He then tasked himself with reaching the finish line as fast as possible. Though a little rough and definitely not something others should try, it looks pretty fun, 
at least to see it in action. All the same, it's a pretty fascinating experiment that perhaps better demonstrates how AR might enhance outside activities in fun new ways, at least more than VR. And finally, happening in this week's What the... This thing from Italy. Um, not sure if you want to call it a bike, maybe a car, maybe maybe a tractor. It is half motorcycle, half walking Star Wars thing, and it's fire breathing as well. It doesn't appear to have the highest of top speeds, but it's definitely something that you would see out in the real world that would make you think, what the... Thanks for watching your weekly tech update. If you have a story you think we need to feature on the program, uh, get in touch with me. Send me an email at djraymcneil at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook at your weekly tech update and check out the podcast. Audio and video versions available on iTunes, Google, Spotify, Audio Burst, and elsewhere on the interwebs. Till next time, I'm Ray McNeil. Stay safe and stay healthy, everyone. And now, here's your moment of joy. Spin. 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 Good. Okay. Tech Update brought to you by Holiday Home Care, Phillip Island, Victoria, Australia. It's your turn to relax. Before you get on holiday on the island, contact Holiday Home Care. We can set up your residence or holiday rental, do the shopping for you, provide linen and towels, and make sure it's all ready by the time you get here, giving you more time to enjoy what Phillip Island has to offer. For more information, visit HolidayHomeCarePI.com or email HolidayHomeCarePI at gmail.com.